Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of ABG the son of Mube again. And I know many of you are already well. Um, this time I want us to discuss about the allegations that I see, especially on social media. Uh, the main allegation coming also from government that there are some Zimbabweans who hate their own country, there are some Zimbabweans who hate uh, being Zimbabwean and will therefore go around speaking ill of the country. Uh, there are many of you, there is a player, a young boy who plays for Liverpool, he made his debut uh, against Southampton midweek uh, in the FA Cup fifth round and many would have seen the lies that have been peddled uh, on social media stating that he has uh, dissociated himself with Zimbabwe which of course have now been said to be not true but also you would have seen where people have been commenting on Facebook saying don't ever you dare play for Zimbabwe it's directed at the boy of course I know he's not seeing some of these things but it's directed at him there is a time when I first heard about him and I posted on social media that is on Facebook that this boy is a Zimbabwean and is my wish was that he plays for the Zimbabwe Warriors at some point and the, most of the comments that I got there were in the negative with people saying he must not try to play for Zimbabwe because there is a lot of politics in Zimbabwe and soccer, there is a lot of uh, mismanagement uh, in Zimbabwe and soccer and then now what has come uh, forth is that there have been accusations including from uh, some Zimbabwean politicians that Zimbabweans do not uh, love their own country and that and some of these have come from uh, non-Zimbabweans as well who say that Zimbabweans are leaving their country in their troughs and refusing to fight for what is theirs because they hate their country they are unpatriotic and this is the myth that I want to debunk uh, it is a lie that I want to dispel because I am a Zimbabwean myself and I understand Zimbabweans of course I'm one person who has always been an advocate for a prosperous Zimbabwe. I've been a proudly Zimbabwean. Those who follow me on social media would understand that, that I've always been proudly Zimbabwean. A Zimbabwean. And I have a number of times uh, argued against the negatives that are being spread uh, about my country, even by those who are not Zimbabweans, but also by fellow Zimbabweans. But I would come... Uh, straight here and say it is not true that Zimbabweans do not love their own country. If anything, Zimbabweans are among the most patriotic uh, Africans or the most patriotic people in the world. And this you can say, you can see by uh, the number of Zimbabweans that are sending uh, building materials home, Zimbabweans that are building beautiful homes back home. Uh, Zimbabweans that are contributing to the infrastructural development of their own home areas. Some are building classrooms, some are building clinics, others are building schools, and they're even trying to reconstruct some of the roads that are not serviceable. You know that in Zimbabwe, uh, in terms of roads, we are one of the worst countries uh, in Africa. So Zimbabweans are contributing to build uh, community infrastructure because the government has let them down. You, if you check also how much in dollars Zimbabweans are contributing back home every year in the remittances, you'll get to more than a billion a year. That is in American dollars that Zimbabweans are contributing, which is raising uh, the economy of the country. It's raising, uh, the, it's keeping the country afloat. If you look at uh, Omalaicha, here in Hilpro, for example, how much uh, of properties Zimbabweans are sending home every week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just go to Hilpro and see how much Zimbabweans are sending back home. And if you look at during the holidays, how many Zimbabweans flock back home just to visit because they love their country. But now the problem is Zimbabweans are sick and tired of the government that they have. A government which is led by unpatriotic people, by a people who hate Zimbabwe so much that they can loot, so much that they can squander 
so much that they don't even build their homes in the country but they will choose to invest outside the country where they are buying villas outside the country where they are buying homes that are beautiful mansions outside the country they're not even contributing to building hospitals state-of-the-art hospitals in zimbabwe instead they would rather if they fall sick fly out of the country to seek treatment there when they want to shop they fly outside the country to shop there spending millions of dollars outside the country every year when they want to go on holiday, they fly outside the country because they have failed to build in the country. And that's basically because they are the ones who are not patriotic. And then, because they are the ones who are not patriotic, they then don't brook uh, criticism for this lack of patriotism in the, in, in the country. Then they want to make it sound as if, if you criticize them, you are therefore criticizing government. If you criticize them, you are therefore criticizing Zimbabwe. There must be a, a distinction between Zimbabwe and individuals who are soiling the name of Zimbabwe. And most of these individuals are within government. Most of these individuals are in cabinet. Most of these individuals are in parliament. They are the people who must be punished for being unpatriotic because you don't loot a country that you are patriotic towards you don't kill fellow countrymen if you're patriotic you don't starve fellow countrymen if you're patriotic you don't destroy an economy of a country to which or towards which you are patriotic so zimbabweans love their country but they know that there is an elephant in the in the room this is the target of their anger because what happens is even where i've already stated that zimbabweans are building infrastructure in their home areas but when this has been built the same people who have failed to use state funds to build this infrastructure then come up they want to claim credit for that zimbabweans were toiling in the diaspora some of them doing manual jobs but because of patriotism are sending money home they are buying cement home, they are paying builders back home, they are paying engineers back home to build this infrastructure. And then the people who are looting, who are making it impossible for government to build this infrastructure, then come and want to preside over these ceremonies. They want to claim credit for this. They use this as their manifesto to say, we did this and that in such an area, therefore vote us. Then Zimbabweans take issue with that. And then they want to expose these people because as it is, Zimbabwe doesn't have a government to talk about. We have a beautiful country, blessed with resources. We have a, a, a workforce that is hardworking. We have a people that are very peaceful. We hate crime. But at the end of the day, these people get smacked in the teeth by the, those who are supposed to be self-guiding to be safeguarding their safety by those who are supposed to be fairly distributing their resources. Right now, people have had their homes destroyed by a government which should, in the first place, have given them land, have given them decent housing. And then how can these people then be expected to pay homage to such a government which looks, which loots taxpayers' funds, which destroys the economy, which continues to siphon funds out of government for personal use, which continues to destroy the little that is there in the country. So Zimbabweans don't hate their country. They love their country. In fact, ordinary Zimbabweans are the most, most patriotic citizens of the country, but they have presiding above them an unpatriotic lot, which claims that because uh, it carried guns, and fought against Ian Smith's regime while being fed by the peasants. Therefore, they deserve to continue to rule, to continue to loot, to continue to squander the country. They don't even have ideas. These are people who use force to remain where they are, but at the end of the day, do not even show for it. And then they tell you that if you want to take over the country, you must go to war. Every Zimbabwean fought the liberation struggle. 
even those who were not born back then because first and foremost our parents are the ones who went to die fighting for that country while these guys were looting were already looting donor funds that came from countries like Cuba, like the Soviet USSR, like China. They were squandering these money. That's why when they came back, they were already rich. They were millionaires. They bought farms and everything. Then they bought votes to get to where they are now. And then they claimed that they fought. They never fought anything. The peasants fed these guys who were dying while fighting for the country. The Liberation War fighters, they were clothed by citizens, that is the peasants, they were fed by peasants, and they always ate the best of meat that was there, because people knew that these guys are fighting for our freedom, but those who were at the top, the greedy people, the unpatriotic people, even killed some among themselves who were patriotic, they killed patriotic Zimbabweans, and then they diverted the liberation struggle train, because they were in there to loot and squander. And this is what they are doing right now. So it is not true that Zimbabweans don't love their country. Zimbabweans love their country. But the people who don't love their country are those that are in positions of power who are only doing it for personal aggrandizement, for personal enrichment, and for personal agendas. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like this video and share it.